Hey Katie. Hey Bridget. I'm excited to be back for another round of Fruits and Vegetables More Matters. And yes. I picked a fruit today that I have a um, little scavenger hunt trivia for you. Oh cool. What was the fruit that Christopher Columbus carried the seeds to tropical areas? Small, round, green. Oh, I'm kind of thinking maybe a, a lime? Lime! Uh, you know how the song goes, a lime, lime in the, the coconut? coconut? Yeah. So, I'm excited to talk about some limes. Now, they're yes, quite unique. They are. They're they small, are. round. There's not much to it on the outside. Mm -mm. And mm -mm. it's like, not like a strawberry where you can smell it from miles away unless you, you open, open it. it. Right. right. But I, I like the smell of limes. I think I limes too. smell fresh. It's and fresh good. cleaning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, when I go to the store, can I find them year-round, Katie? You can. Okay. But I believe there's a peak season, right? I'm sure, because all fruits and vegetables have right. a peak season. Right. That peak season. I'm sorry, I just totally forgot. No, you're good. <laughs> I'm sorry. So we'll pause, 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 yeah. pause, pause, pause. All right. So, Katie, I can find these in the store year-round, can't I? You can. Now, each fruit and vegetable has their own peak season, right? Right, right. So, if I had to guess, tell me if I'm wrong, is the peak season from June to August? That's right. Woo! That's right. If you Yay! Season, and this from June to August. Very good. Yes. All right. So if I'm going to the grocery store and selecting a nice a lime, you know, sometimes I have it in bags where you can mm -hmm. individually select your limes. Right. What am I looking for? Because this one's got some spots. This one's got a lime scar, dark spots, light spots. Right. What am I looking for? Well, you want to look for a good, firm nut green deep green color okay. there's not this one kind of looks good there's not a lot of spots so it's got that nice deep green ah, color nice. it's kind of got a gloss to it yeah um, not too squishy not too firm but just kind of good oh. firm um lime is what you look for but there's things like some of yours got some bl black spots dark spots you know you might not want to choose those they're okay. probably not they're probably past their, their best line. time yes okay yes. okay now, when I get home, sometimes I get very anxious because I don't keep a good stock of fruits and vegetables in my refrigerator. Right. So, I may get excited to be ready to use this for a recipe. Mm -hmm. Can I just cut open and go, or do I need to clean yeah, it? You gently wash it. Always gently rinse your fruits and vegetables, yes, with water before before um, cutting and using. Okay. For sure. Okay. Yes. Now, let's say I decide to make my recipe for my lime coconut energy bites yes. by Friday. Okay. Can I store these for a certain period of time, or are they only bat only good for two days, and then I should toss them? What's my storage life shelf once I get home? You can keep them in your fridge for up to four weeks in a plastic bag or a container. Um, you can also freeze them up to four months. Okay. Okay. So about room temperature, you know, about a week. This is what their shelf life could be. But that is pretty decent. Sure for four weeks or in the um, refrigerator. I mean, the freezer for four months. Have you ever had a lime coconut energy bite? No, but it sounds delicious. It's got lime juice, lime zest, which all my friends, if you don't know what lime zest is, you just take a grater and you just zest and scrape off some of the skin. And it has some honey and some coconut shreds in there. And then you roll it into a ball and you bake and you've got your energy bite. Doesn't sound, couldn't get much better than that. That no. sounds delicious. So if you have any other recipes, we would love to try them out at our yes. house. So feel free to comment and post your own lime recipes. <laughs> What vitamins and nutrients are in limes that we should be aware of that's good for our body? Vitamin C, we all need to make sure we get plenty of vitamin C right now, B6, and potassium. All right, so we can't go wrong with our you limes. You can't. You can't. You so can't. will you demonstrate how to properly cut them? Because sure. I know me, I just slice and go. There's not a There's not Use proper cutting, so you want to keep your fingers back, so you want to cut off the ends of the lime, like so, and the end of this lime. Like so, and then you could easily just slice them up. And you can have, ooh, I smell, they smell delicious, mm -hmm. don't they? So there you go. And you could easily put these in water, spice up your water, give some lime and lemon to your water. Uh, squeeze over your Mexican dishes or over chicken or I mean lime can be used in lots of ways so share with us like Bridget said earlier of what you use your limes for